Alright, going on a little bit early. Okay, so... Um... Let's take down the shadows a little bit. Alright, you get that waving from the LED. very like oh hey Bren starting a little early I'm just trying to get set up uh, it's it's always the issue of like reducing shadows as much as possible um, Yeah, I'm just kind of moving everything over a little bit. Um, I wonder if I could inch this out a little bit. I don't know that that changes the lighting situation though. My camera is like attached to this bar, like a metal bar that you put magnets on. Um, and it's, I've, I've like attached my webcam to it with like poster putty. So that's the level of um, engineering that we're working with right now. Um, if we go a little closer, if that's better. The other, yeah, the other thing is that banding is really frustrating, um, but I don't know if that light is essential. Um, hmm. I think what's throwing me off too is the, um, uh, the previews mirrored. So like Shamir is over on the left on my preview and I'm, it's just like counterintuitive when I'm trying to fix everything. Uh, okay, the banding's still going on. I guess that's not an LED thing. Oh yeah, natural light is the the ideal situation. If I could, I would have um, done the stream like way earlier. Um, Okay, I think that's as good as we're going to get it. We're still going to have some banding, but that's okay. Hello? Focus. Okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop this link over onto Twitter.
Okay. So the links are up, and I guess I can just. Well, I'll. I did say eight thirty, so well, I can wait for maybe a couple other people to show up. Um, so last time, if you were here, um, or you know watched it afterwards or whatever, um, I started and I was just like not feeling it. I felt like I was messing up at every opportunity. I just like, I felt like I was in a funk and it was really because I had not drawn anything in like a week and a half probably, or very little. I did the thumbnail for the Neopets video, but um, that was the only thing I think like within that time period that I drew at all. Um, so I was like super, super out of practice. Um, and it just like something, it, it really was like when you're exercising for the first time in a while and everything is like sore and uh, feel, you know, you're, um, I feel you, it's stiff. You, you know, you haven't stretched it out. It really felt like that, but for my eyes and brain and wrists and everything. So um, hopefully I will, I'm, I'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised. I hadn't really looked at these since then and I opened it up and I was like, okay, these are fine. Um, they weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. So, um, you know, and any mistakes are, are not really that big of a deal. So um, no, I'm, I like these fine and um, we can keep going with it. Um, I did prep the uh, other characters just so that I didn't run into the problem again of like um, starting to draw and being like, oh, I don't know if I like that concept. And, you know, let me rethink this Um, because that doesn't make for good TV um, streaming content. I don't know what what we'd call it. So, um, yeah, we, we should be good to go then. Um, I'll have to do just a little bit more sketching just to kind of refine some things, but I, I hope that that's the kind of sketching that I'm not hemming and hawing over it. I'm, I basically do have the ideas down and it's just a matter of realizing them. Okay, there we go. Trying to... Navigate pure ref, it's a little hard. Okay. Um, so I left off on Flane last time. Um, who's like, well, she's sort of the mascot of the stream for today, but um, like made to be a seal pretty much. So of course she has her fish. I don't know if... Hang on just a second. I need a sign on my door. <laughs> uh, all right. How's the music? Is that uh, coming through? I It's a little bit more of a um, broader playlist. I was sort of rediscovering all my Fire Emblem music today. So um, I have a few of the premium albums. And uh, this is from... Flower of Enchantment, I think. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah Finn. Oh, that's good, actually. I was saying, what did I come up with for him? It was like... Yeah, I don't actually remember. I have a list of all the names somewhere. I think the only thing that might 
I might need some help on deciding is the uh, like little the the belt buckles and charms and stuff that I end up turning into like um, seashells or other little uh, ocean things. Um, I haven't really come up with all of those yet, so usually that kind of happens on the fly. Oops. Okay. Okay, wait. I goofed. The pleats would go there and then... I love her dress. It's so cute. Okay, I think I can leave the rest of that for ink. Most of the seals have gotten, like, over, as I've done these, they've gotten bigger. Uh, taken more, uh, more space on the page, but, uh, so it's a little quicker to finish up here, her. Um... I had the idea. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, these have been going on for a while. I, I'm glad that you were able to uh, get in on the stream, David. Nice to see you. Decent crowd of four people. Um, but I, with, without, I, I mean, spoilers a little bit, but. Um, I had the idea of potentially, and this is something that I knew if I ever brought it up, people would be like, oh, you should totally do that. Um, but I almost made these two sea lions um, because of the um, main difference between sea lions and seals. Um, if you know what that is, and if not, you could look it up. Um, but uh, I thought that would have been a clever little nod um, but sea lions aren't as cute as I have said, so I wanted to keep all of them pretty consistent, um, stylistically. Uh, uh, okay, so that's it for them. Um, now I could go over to the next page and show you who I have sketched, um, or I could just do inking and we could wait a little bit on that, but... Um, yeah, we'll keep it a surprise, actually. There's actually a couple differences between her seals and uh, sea lions, but you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's see. Go back to Catherine. Might refine a little bit, just go back. I think the problem I was having with her is just she looked a little too or like not not quite seal enough. Um I thought like something about the proportions were skewing a, a little bit too um, humanoid, um, but maybe I was just imagining things. I was, I think I was just like not feeling it that, that stream. So it's probably fine. Hmm. Was I going to do something with Thunderbrand? Oh, I can make it look like coral. That'd be kind of cool.
does that visually come through i guess coral and antlers look similar so yeah that's fine <laughs> I actually kind of have been making the um, uh, more like athletic or I guess just canonically stronger um, characters like more not more round but just like bigger um, so you had Raf last time who is a elephant seal size basically but I figure if you're a seal, then if you're like, that would make you stronger, more better at fighting with other seals, I guess. Then again, they have swords, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the same rules apply. Yeah, I remember last time I quit and like right at uh, around the time that I quit, I was, uh, you know, right around here. Um, I was doing this, um, like trying looking at the armor on her knee and trying to figure out how to render it and just blanking completely like I, I was in a complete fog. So I'm feeling so much better now. And uh I feel like it's kind of a, not a cautionary tale, but just like a, a good thing to keep in mind that, you know, it's, that's the value of practicing consistently. And, you know, it's not really a, like, you're constantly getting better sort of thing or, or you know, there's it's not like you're gaining experience points and leveling up and it's just a linear progression. It's like you, it's more about keeping from backsliding than anything. Um, and you're learning new stuff too. So Okay. I think we're ready to put some ink down. Again, I've kind of avoided doing any of the um, emblems or um, I don't know what what other like crests, if you will. Um, so if anybody has any ideas, shout them out that you guys come up with good stuff. Thirtieth anniversary of the series coming up. It's kind of crazy to think about. I wonder if they were planning on making announcements or something during the expo. I was hoping we would get some plushies, but. I don't know if that's happening. Oh, sea glass. Yeah, that'd be cute. I now associate sea glass pretty much exclusively. Uh, well, no, I mean, not exclusively, but I always think of Walt now. I actually really liked that alt. I thought that was fitting for him. Damn. 
But yeah, I see what you're saying with uh, crust stones. I, I'm not thinking about it too hard, I guess. Uh, reinforcing some line weight here on the parts that come forward a little more. Or cast more shadow. That works as well. Um. <laughs> Inez was all right. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I left that blank because I needed to do a a thing there. Um, that's okay. <sighs> gotta figure. We gotta figure it out because it's supposed to be the crest of Sarah's. It's like a little riff on that design, her um, brooch there. But let's see. Maybe I can do some brainstorming. What does that look like? I think it's supposed to be, like I joked about it being an onion before, but um, I think it's supposed to be a lily bulb, right? Like that makes sense. So what would the marine equivalent of that be? I'm just trying to remember or to recall what it looks like, draw it. Something like that. Mm. Is there a type of seashell that looks like that on a leaf? Um, I guess I could look that up. See, the ironic thing is if I was playing Animal Crossing right now, I would be assuming... I'm assuming they still let you collect seashells, so I'd be have a little refresher course on seashells. Seashell identification guide. Here we go. Uh, it doesn't seem like very many. Abalone would be good for something. Uh, I'll have to keep that one in mind. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. Hmm. Oh, maybe a Nautilus? Um, I used a conch shell for, um, like, Claude's pauldron, and I think I was going to do the same thing for Alois because he's got the big spikes on his. Um, so, uh, is there, can I do something with a Nautilus? I feel like I used a Nautilus on somebody else, but... Uh, I 
like that. Hmm. I want to get this right because it's like, you know, it's pretty important. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you can't really read these, though. Okay, yeah, like... Here, I'll, I'll post this in the chat so everybody can check it out. Um, yeah, I see what you're saying, the, like, the conch shell, um turned up words because you get that swirly pattern with it. Um, hmm. Whatever, I'll just, it's, it's going to be some, something that I think to death and uh, nobody is going to really notice for more than a second or so. Can't even draw it properly anyway. <laughs> oh well. It's fine. Ah, oh, that's awkward. Oh well. I probably will clean these up a little bit before I post the image, just, you know, because I can, I guess. All right, that'll... that's good for now. Um, all right, see ya. Thanks for joining us. Okay. All right, I need to stop. <laughs> That's enough for Catherine, I think. Um, I keep going back to the shell thing. Um, I can analyze this to just endlessly I need to stop uh, all right go ahead and do the liner on flame uh oh 
My webcam is a little touchy. It doesn't respond super well to movement. There we go. Oh, no, 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 come on. Okay. Trying to like look back frequently enough to catch if it goes wonky, but not so much that I'm like pausing super frequently. Fish is not having a good day. Flynn's hair clips already look like seashells. Oops. Make her drills a little bit longer. Uh, is that right? Mm -hmm. I think I goofed that a little bit. <laughs> That's okay. Pasta hair. <laughs> oh, if not more, I mean. She can get her own fish now. It just occurred to me I can make that like kelp. But I don't know. That might be a little bit. I don't. I don't know that I necessarily want to change the materials of the clothes. That's not really where that would be coming out, but that's fine. Yeah, um, I might just stick to this page for for today. Um, 
we'll sort of see how things go. Um, but uh, that way I can, that's sort of what I've been doing to, in order to like get a good mix of inking and coloring and um, I'm not looking forward to doing the little pattern. Okay. Um, I'm not doing like just sort of doing little like I guess leg warmers it would be the closest thing for instead of the boots um, usually if the characters have gloves I will um, opt out of those too just to keep the flippers bare but Sometimes I give the characters gloves if it just seems like they should have them. Pressure, I guess, lines biting down on the fish. Um, okay. I should probably finish set its belt buckle. Um, what am I going to do for that? Sorry, I should have done research on seashells first. My bad. Oh my gosh got two screens and trying to navigate my mouse between them um hmm. yeah I, just, I feel like that already looks like a seashell and I just can't place what it is but Yeah, I was thinking Venus Comb too. Uh, I, let me specifically look that one up and make sure I get it. Oh, well, it's real spiky. Super spiky. You really could comb with that, <laughs> comb your hair. We'll do something a little more. Simplified, I guess.
All right, that's fine. Try not to overthink this. Um, oh, and I still need to do her a little. Again, don't, without overthinking it, I'm just going to make it a sand dollar. All right, um, I'll do a little bit of coloring. I'll kind of try and mix it up a little bit. <sighs> Sorry, the table <laughs> shakes. I don't really know if there's any avoiding that. Erasing does like wash out the ink a little bit, but it, I, I've, I think I've talked about this before, like you can, um, w you know, when you do the coloring, it um, saturates the lines again with the ink. So it works out. Okay, so Catherine's going to be a lot of, like, off-white. Um, so, probably that mustard yellow would work for her hair. Um, maybe, like, a Y23. Some of these yellows. We're really mixing up the markers and pencils today. Just... Whatever, get them all in here. good. Her hair is interesting because it's got sort of these um, red like undertones to it. Um,
Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I haven't 100% decided on the names uh, for everybody. There's a few that I have for sure. Um, but um, I think I have Catherine's in mind pretty well. Um, but again, we'll see. I mean, she's going to be pretty, like, not very much color going on, so I will do more highlights for the gold bits. Not really doing too much shading, um, only to indicate texture where I need to, but I may end up doing more shading on Catherine because there's, again, all this uh, white on her outfit. So you kind of, for that to even look like it has been colored in, it's got to be um, given some nuance. Go ahead and take guesses on the names. I, uh, I, there's no harm, I guess, in telling you what I have in mind if, if you guess it right. So I'm thinking you've got like warm gray and cool gray and neutral gray, and they're all a little bit different from each other. Um, the cool gray skews a little more blue. The warm gray skews a little more like um, brown. But I think that'll be a good way to kind of differentiate her shirt or like the cloth in her costume from the armor. So I will make the armor cool gray and I'll make the everything else warm gray or neutral. Again, thank you for tuning in, everybody who's here. Um, I appreciate there's the you know there's so many options for uh, these days what to tune into for a stream. Everybody it seems is doing streams, um, and I know this isn't the most ideal time for most people, but um, I appreciate greatly anybody who has chosen to spend their time with me and my very silly artwork. And that goes for whether you're tuning in live or um, if you're tuning in after the fact, it's still very awesome of you to come by. Okay, that looked like I was just coloring nothing, but it was kind of a primer. So this one I'm hoping should show through a little bit better. Man, uh, yeah, so there's definitely puns that work visually, but not really sonically, audially. Um, and yeah, those ones, or some of those just don't quite work. You're right, Ka Cather, Brian, Brian uh, looks better. Um, it looks right. There were a couple of them like that where it was like, oh, if this is just visual, that would work. But um, I will say with her name, I um, 
kind of made a concession on what Caspar's name was originally going to be in order to like, like I sort of had a compromise between their names, if that makes sense. Okay, let's get, is there a warm gray one? Yes, here we go. Perfect. Yeah, see the difference between that? The kind of cool metal of the armor and then... Um, That was a little off. I gotta pay more t attention to that. Oh man, it's really showing <laughs> that I messed up there. Oh well, it happens. Okay, now I need like a dark reddish brown. Copper, that sounds good. Reddish brass sounds good. Um, leather, always a staple. There's one that's called like redwood, I think. That's a pretty good one. Ah, yeah, I have it on my desk already. Oh, yeah, that's good. I want to use that for something. Probably, yeah, the, like the underside of her cloak. But maybe... Is E19? Yeah, I'll do E17 in there first. These are the code names for the um, markers, by the way. So they've got them um, on the cap. They've got like a name for the color, um, but a code so that everybody's on the same page. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, I might go over everything with this one first and then kind of color these parts again with whatever I want to tint it. Has everybody been staying busy these days? I've been drawing a lot more in the last few days, I'm trying to get back into the groove of it. But can be kind of tough to keep up with. Animal Crossing, of course. I admit that I haven't broken it open yet. Um, I've been, and I, and I have been trying to make a point and I haven't been very good at actually doing this, but I've made a point of, um, finishing three houses first and then getting to, um, Animal Crossing once I'm done with that. Um, I do still buy physical game carts, so like, you know, I, I want to um have to be able to um have the physical game but at the same time you know I realize I uh end up inconvenienced um by having to switch out cartridges and everything Oh, no, I'm just talking about finishing one route of the game. I'm um, kind of insane, um, maybe is the word. I, like, I know that it's unnecessary to be this completionist about a game that you're meant to replay, um, and I, I know that, but I, I'm still like, I have to recruit everybody who I possibly can and, um, unlock all the supports. I have a spreadsheet. It's bad. It's really bad. I'm not even like playing in, in any way where I need to optimize anything. It's just, it's bad. I like to say that I'm savoring it, but really, like, there's no excuse. <laughs> yeah, I hope they don't, like, disappoint me in the last act of the game or anything. That would suck. No, I think we're... Probably fine. And like, I'm not totally blind. You don't get through nine months, you know, uh, being pretty um, eh, clam up. That's funny. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you don't spend that long being 
invested in a game and its fandom and everything and uh, totally avoid spoilers. I really kind of wish that the um, uh, way in which I had been spoiled on some things was a little different, but that's okay. It is what it is. And I'm not like, I haven't been spoiled on everything by any means. Um, so But it's great. I love it. I love the cast so much. Um, they did a really great job on it. Oops. Um, it's not really a texture thing. It's more just like getting the color precise. Um, so it, do it does alter the texture a teeny little bit. Like um, the over here... Um, going a few layers of, you know, putting on, down a few layers of color should get this to a bit of that, like, um, yeah, I guess leathery or velvety almost texture. Um, but it's not super noticeable. Um, I'm, yeah, and mostly I'm doing it for the color. Um, it's a nice texture, like, and, and I've had to do this for most of the seal skin, um, but it, it provides a nice texture to that for sure. And then I think I will emphasize the red under here a little bit. Oh, that turned out pretty rich. Hmm. Seems like this part is like a little golden clasp. Okay. I wait to... Um, I've talked about this before, but I wait to determine the seal skin color to, um, until just like a little bit later into it. Um, and definitely after I've laid down all the other colors, um, I'm not really that great at color theory or coordination. So it, it's taken a little bit of practice and I haven't always got it right, but that's the nice thing about Copics is um, you can layer, like if you, if you are layering the colors on top of each other, you can get sort of a, um, you know, you don't have to necessarily get it right the first time, uh, which is nice. All right. So I'll leave her for now. Oh, now my chair's squeaking. That's fun. Uh, 
uh, where's if I remember I try to brush the eraser shavings away with an actual brush because I don't want to get my any more of my finger grease on it than necessary. I haven't had too much trouble remembering to wash my hands because I developed a habit of like from from drawing super frequently in school um, where I would like get uh, you know I'll, I'll just start to feel my hands getting grubby after you know a few hours or whatever and I'll have get a craving to wash them anyway so I'm not germaphobic or anything it's just like a weird feeling they feel dirty but I think a lot of that came from like drawing and like getting the pencil um graphite mar smudges on the side of my hand and stuff so it's coming in handy these days Yeah, and I don't, like, I wait for the ink to dry, so there's no risk of really smudging it, but I just, like, I'm, I'm always worried that I'm going to get, like, I don't know, oil smudges or whatever on there. I don't think that's ever actually happened, but you can never be too careful. Okay, so time to break into my greens uh okay g16 and go2 look pretty good question is do i actually have these colors g17 okay I sound like I'm playing chess on like a really big board or like battleship or something with all these code names. Oh my gosh. I have too many markers. Why do I have purple markers on here? What? I guess like I'll get to Shamir, but still. <sighs> what am I looking for? Geo two. Okay. Problem is, like some of them are. Some of the markers have the color label in the cap, and other ones have them on the side. So. Ah, here we go. Oh, got them both. Okay, malachite, and what is this one? Spectrum green. Aren't, wait, sp spectrum green? Aren't all colors on the spectrum? Isn't that the definition? Anyway, some of these color names are silly. We talked about that all, a lot on a couple streams ago. Okay, oh, that's a little greener than I... Oh, wait, that's because it's not the right one. Just had that in my hand for some reason. Okay, there we go. Flame hair green right there. There's some colors that I've just taken to referring to as like the fire emblem color whose hair I associate it with. I don't know if you can hear, I got Edge of Dawn playing on shuffle. I'll try not to sing, but it might be hard.
this is probably a complaint that, or uh, it's not really a complaint, but a critique, I guess, uh, that has been voiced, I'm sure, knowing the general tenor of the fan conversation. But um, I wish that there were versions of Edge of Dawn for um, all the lords. I think that would have been cool. Kind of like how Lost in Thoughts All Alone, you had the like one version for um, each of the games, each of the routes. Like it, it, especially considering that they'd done that, it surprises me that they didn't do that for three houses. I guess that they would have had, like, thinking about it, they would have had to pay th- three different, or maybe, maybe, who knows, maybe four different singers. So, in English and Japanese. So, yeah, now that I think about it, like, I understand why they didn't do that, but. Okay. I just want to make sure that this is coming through on the screen. We got four viewers. Hello, everybody. This probably needs to draw is like the or color is the little highlights on hair. I don't know how accurate it is necessarily, but <laughs> the song it's playing now is just the um, the drum beat that plays when you're fishing. So that's appropriate. I guess I've been streaming for an hour or so, you know, it's probably a stopped clock is right twice a day situation. Uh, just a little bit, but. This is also a bigger playlist than I'd had before. So there's that as well. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Glad you sort of stumbled upon this. And um, yeah, I'll have a time lapse of these once they're done. If I don't end up doing a third stream, um, which uh, I mean, there's going to be a lot of competition over the weekend. So um, we'll see. But um, yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, take care. Stay safe. Have a good night. Oh man, my hand's shaking so bad at this angle. Okay. Uh, just because I'm I'm coloring Sedith and not because it's a prime marketing opportunity with all three. All, oh dang, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna plug my um my little. Uh, stickers <laughs> but like as soon as I said that a bunch of two people logged off so um, I'll just have them there that's not directed at my lovely viewers of course that's just um, you know it, it's for um, I haven't really considered very many purposes for it yet I realize it's not very functional as a sticker like, I don't know what you would put a stop sticker on. I don't know, maybe a t-shirt? I'll have to think about that.
But either way, um, I, I may be selling these. I have to set up some kind of shop or something. Um, I'm going to definitely make more stickers. I'm going to do seal stickers. I know people have requested that. So um, for sure, that is a thing that will happen. But I just got to like actually make them. They're not going to be these, I don't think, because it's kind of the process of getting, um, like, it, it seems like it would be an easy thing to, to digitize, um, like, uh, oh, wait, I just realized, forgot to do this, um, The Fire Emblem Opera theme is playing. It's a little distracting. Um, anyway, stickers. Um, the yeah, it's it's. I was saying the like process of um, making these uh, or any like anything traditional that is more than a pretty simple sketch. Um, having that go from the traditional work to a digital format like mechanically it's easy but it's just kind of it, it doesn't look clean um and i haven't been able to figure out a good way to get it to look clean um so this is a problem that i run into pretty consistently when i'm um i'm just gonna do the little designs first um that's a problem I run into a lot when I'm doing paper because it'll look good, you know, on, on the drawing kind of from far away and not the same medium and it's hard to sort of get things on the same page. I'm not going to be too fussy about his little designs here. Um, the, like, it seems like it would be easy to just like, you know, slap these onto stickers, but it, it's more work to like clean everything up than it necessarily even is to, um, do a new set. So I'm probably just going to, you know, the same seal designs, but, um, you know, different poses and different, uh, expressions a little bit, even if it's just slightly different, like. Um, you know, they're based on the same characters, so it will still be accurate to them, I would hope. Oh, and... uses the chisel tips on these. With Copics and alcohol-based markers in general, you have to s account for bleed, um, not like through the paper necessarily, but um, not, uh, this is thick paper, so it's not going to be a problem, but um, like any ink that you lay down will start, will spread a little bit. So um, I'm not, you might be able to see it. Um, I'm not totally filling in these um little inner patches um, inside the design here, um, the, or the embroidery. Um, and that's just because it, it will, the ink will spread and um, fill. Otherwise it would, if I did color it to the edge, then it would end up um, taking over too much. Oh, 
I know this is too light of a blue. It's just because the other one was a little bit too dark. So we'll get to a happy medium. Of course, that does mean that I'm going to have to go in and <laughs> color in everything again. Oh, well. The other thing is these blues are a little bit short on ink, I think. That's the other thing about layering is sometimes it can kind of take care of these like brush strokes um, if you get uneven brush strokes. All right, and then probably a warm gray for the cape. Warm gray number 10 is basically black, so we'll do seven. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Hmm, okay. It's got a gold lining on the end in the concept art or the model sheet, but not the OA, whatever. Um, the boots aren't quite warm. I think I'm going to do the warm cool distinction there too. This cracks me up there. I don't know if you can see there's a color. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to focus, but let's see. come on whatever it's special black which i think is just funny i can't tell the difference between this and regular black um but presumably there is a difference i i don't know maybe they got a special kind of ink for it or something it's on it's ink from the most rare um octopus from the deepest ocean that's how they got it that's actually what sepia is, it refers to. Um, we know sepia as a uh, nice rich brown color. And sepia, um, the substance, is cuttlefish ink. So there's your marine fact for the day. 
You didn't even have to look that one up yourself. That's just provided free of charge. Okay. I can't find, maybe I'll just go with this. It's like almost dry though. Um, where are all the cool gray or yeah, cool gray. Maybe I can mix a cool gray and a warm gray. Oh, cool gray seven. Here we go. Right in front of my face the whole time. Come on, focus. You want to focus webcam, please? I hope it hasn't been unfocused this whole time. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Y32 looks like it would be good. Actually, no, this is fine, I think. Or what about this? It's a little too orange. Y32 is good. What happened to it? Where did I put it? We have another viewer. Hello, welcome. I was saying earlier, I'm like inordinately excited that anybody even is showing up to this because it's uh, there's a lot of competition um, these days, especially on a Friday night. Here we go, cashmere. That's what I wanted. Um, again, I'm not going to be too fussy about the pattern on this. Is it the same as what Rhea has? Whatever, it's bubbles now. Because they're seals. Actually, yeah, that looks like a, um, what do you call it? Like, like when, um, in animation, like how, how ocean, um, the surface of the ocean looks. I'm not sure what you would call that, but that's what that looks like. Okay, this is a nice color. I don't even know if the, the lighter blue was necessary because it may not even show up, but this is agate, it's called, but it's like a navy blue. I'm going to say putting that lighter blue first definitely will make a subtle difference that is very important and um, necessary 
um, and worth my time. If I say that, that'll make it true, right? Oh, it's going to be even worse because I will definitely need to go over this again to even out the brush strokes too. Ugh. Hmm. I'm not sure that's necessarily the effect I'm going for. It looks like it kind of took off some of that. <sighs> Whatever. I'm overthinking it for sure. This is basically the same color as Flane's bow, and I will definitely not be doing like three to four layers on that. It'll just be the one. Learn my lesson. Okay, I gotta be really careful. This is has more ink in it, so it's gonna be quicker to spread. Probably what I'll end up doing is going over one more time to fill up in whatever white spaces, little teeny tiny white spaces in here. Um, going back and filling those in with something closer to the gold. They look like onion rings. I'm a little bit hungry.
Yeah, really, if the final color is this dark, then I don't need to lay something down ahead of it. I can lay something. Yeah, we jumped back up to three. Oh, oh, two. That's okay. I'm not disappointed in the people who are here. I just am very excited if it's more than one. If it's more than just me. All right. Oh, I got to figure out what kind of fish this is. almost look like um like squid tentacles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh such a good arrangement of this song I've got playing um, a playlist that's um, I threw together th the Three Houses soundtrack with um, just wanted to mix it up a little bit. So it's uh, a bunch of the like just various Fire Emblem arrangements. Um, they're all official, but they're um, it's stuff like the um, Premier Marange album and the um, 25th anniversary concert and the um uh what else is on there um the character theme album which is uh came out with i guess with the very first game um and it's a combination of string quartet pieces and like the most like 90s sting music that you've ever heard in your life like it's it seriously sounds like, like, like again, almost the sting music from Seinfeld or something. Like it's just, but it's arrangements of Shadow Dragon music, so it's crazy. Like it's uh, very entertaining. But um, that's on there. Hopefully, we can listen to one or two songs from that. Um, and. I don't know where I was going with that. I think I was just just talking about the... Um, I wanted to mention the quality of the official arrangements that we get is really cool. Um, I think it's neat that they have gone out of their way to produce this. Um concerts uh or i mean i know they did that 25th anniversary one but and they'll do their um like live performances of some of the albums that we end up getting but um that does not look consistent at all whoops yeah it's all right um But yeah, I've been to the um, Legend of Zelda concert, and that's awesome. Um, 
I think it might be a little tricky to do the same kind of thing with Fire Emblem, just because the, um, you know, you don't get those, that cinematic kind of gameplay that you can cut together and um, play in the background. It's a lot of grids. And again, with the more recent games, that's not as much of a problem. They can you can get those to look all right, but but I don't know. I don't know that that would even necessarily be on anybody's mind. I think just hearing the music live and seeing those moments play out uh, would be very cool. Do a little bit of shine here because I'm assuming her boots would be shiny. A little tiny bit. I realize I forgot to color Catherine's eyes. Very bright blue. Um, all right. I guess this mustard this is a very uh, all purpose kind of color. I'm not at all consistent with the like shades of gold on the one, you know, going from one costume to another, one character to another. Potato. Oh, shoot. Wasn't out of focus. I'm sorry. The the webcam, like, I, I seriously don't know the rhyme or reason to when it will focus and when it won't. Um, and I'm just kind of taking quick glimpses over at the um, screen. So thank you for letting me know. The quality is not good. It's almost like better up there. Come on. Hello, anybody tuning in? We're having <laughs> focus issues. And it's not just me this time. Oh my gosh, come on. Here, right here. What else is it focusing on? I did notice when I was cleaning it off today that there was like um, kind of it looked like smudges on the inside of the glass near the or oh shoot it's like anytime you move anytime it catches movement it's just gets lost completely to find 
Oh my gosh. Where is the... Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it will stay now. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Um, what was I even saying? I don't even remember. Where's that cashmere? Here we go. What gave me the idea for the seals? Um, so the, the origin of this is, uh, I don't remember the exact context and I probably should just like look up the exact, um, you know, discord logs where this happened. Cause I'm, I'm sure I could find them. Um, but basically I had, I, I was riffing with a friend about like binding blade fe six in reverse. Um, seal of swords uh instead of sword of seals um and i i had already done like a a seal um it's a really old picture it's on my uh i think i i did uh similar to what we ended up joking about but this time i heard seal of swords i was like i want to draw that that, that i want to imagine what that looks like. Um, so I drew it and it's, um, I, I showed this in the last time-lapse video I did the golden deer one. Um, but I, I just drew like this, um, kind of, I, I was thinking of the mortal savant class from three houses. Um, but it's like a little seal with swords strapped to his back and stuff. Um, and I kind of thought, oh, he looks like Felix a little bit. So right after I snapped the first picture, I um, drew Felix's hair on top of the seal. And um, so, like, after that, I was just sort of... Um, oh, sorry, I was just checking the... Uh, chat real quick. Um, I, I I drew the first seal Felix, which is was it's not the same one that um, I ended up like posting with the rest of the blue lions. Um, actually, let me see if I can find it real quick. I'm sure. Uh, I might have put it away. Actually, it's it's in like the Reddit threads. I've answered the question um, in in the Golden Deer video if you watch that. Um, so, you know, there you can find it. I'll I'll try to remember to post it to like Twitter um, just so that everybody can see the original Seal of Swords. But um, at any rate, I drew the little Felix Doodle and then Sylvain um, and. Um, sorry, just running a little search for a salmon so I could see what colors to use here. Um, no, not cooked salmon. Sam live salmon. Okay. Um, Sorry about that. <laughs> Just need to get a picture of a salmon up real quick. This is important. We need to make sure that Flane's fish is um, up up to code. I don't I don't know what code. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so the. I drew the, um, like those first couple of doodles and we had a good laugh and I forgot about it for a few days. And then, um, my other friend came over to, um, it were, we were going to like play through the cinder shadows DLC, um, together. And it started off where we were like switching off, but then I didn't really want to play it. Um, 
because I was I kept getting frustrated. Um, I'm not I'm not good at fire emblem. I'm not good at strategizing and like the um, actual hard parts of it. Um, so I opted out, but then I um, wanted something to do. I wanted to draw three houses related stuff, um, and I attempted a couple of random drawings and it wasn't I wasn't feeling it and then I figured um, usually when I'm in kind of a drawing rut I will draw animals or um, like creatures Pokemon things like that just because it's like less pressure to get it right kind of um, and so that's what I ended up doing um, in the form of seals I don't know why I picked the blue lions first. Um, I guess because I was thinking I had drawn Felix and Sylvain, so I wanted to do the rest of them. Yeah. Uh Fish is not having a good day. But that's the circle of life. A harbor seal would probably be pretty lucky to get a salmon. Is it salmon season in Animal Crossing yet? Again, I don't usually do too much shading unless I want some texture and it just kind of felt like her hair was, there wasn't enough contrast to it or something. So just going in with a little bit of a different shade. like a yellow or gold kind of at the top. And it's a little too yellow. Um, brown or like, you know, just like a normal brown.
just kind of guessing. All right, that looks like a pretty good salmon. All right, let's go back to inking. I'm still, I've, I've still got a little bit of fuel in the tank. So I could probably finish this page and then um, for anybody who's interested in sticking around. Um, where did my pens go? They are under all the markers. Shoot, where's the other one? Oh, there it is. I have probably 50 markers on my desk. I don't want to, like, move the webcam too much, but, um, yeah, just take my word for it. It's a lot right now. But I might need one of them. never know. I've never felt more justified being as much of a hoarder as I am as I've been in the last like three weeks. Oh my gosh. This is like the NES sound effects. Why do I have this? Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to skip to a more, like, unobtrusive song. I don't even know if you guys can hear that, but... Alright. I'll do Shamir first. Swimmier. Oops, is that a spoiler? I think in the last stream we were pretty clear about what her name was. Mostly these are not to scale. Um, they're like... There's a little bit. I'll try and I'll sort of take that into consideration when I'm drawing them, but... Um, I don't know. I mean, it, I end up resizing them anyway, so. Yeah, the trouble with doing these so far apart is, like, I could, I can tell in the sketch I had a good idea of what I was doing and, like, where everything was uh, relative to the... I don't know, just like the momentum of the strokes here and everything. And now I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Something to be said for muscle memory, I guess. Oops, that doesn't look good. Yeah, I wanted the effect of her looking to the side. I think I kind of lost that.
Yeah, it's not great. And kind of get that effect back a little bit. Mm. Not super pleased with that. Sometimes the sketch just turns out way better than the finished product. <laughs> The biggest problem I think with this design is like neck, like she's got the thing on her neck, but seals, you know, don't really, I mean, se seals uh, quite often have negative neck. Like, so how do you put something around a seal's neck? I'm, I'm really, uh, how do I solve that? I guess like, okay, what I could do is have her like mouth open and then okay, still looks weird, but not as weird as a seal with a neck. Okay, that looks so much better. <laughs> uh, that was weirding me out so bad. Like, please do yourself a favor and look up videos of... Um, there. I get these in my... Rec well, I mean, like, of course I get these in my recommended, but, like, um, Aka Aquarium, they're ringed seals. They look like harbor seals, but they're, like, small. Um, and I, I don't know why they're called ring seals. I don't know where the rings are, but um, they're very round and like, I don't know if the aquarium seals are like particularly fat or something because they're in captivity and they get fed all the time, but um, but they, they were just like super, super round. They even made like plushies of them um, or they're, I guess like pillows. They're like those super squishy pillows um, that were they're, they're more popular like in the uh, mid 2000s I want to say um, they kind of had like a heyday but um, I'm sure you've seen some of these um, but it's it's like one of those squishy pillows but it's in the shape of a seal and it's like the exact texture of the resident seals that they have at this aquarium but you've probably seen them there they've been on twitter and stuff um but anyway there's a youtube user who will post little like 20 second videos of these seals of the aquarium and they're hilarious But the reason I brought that up was, um, like, <laughs> there's a couple of them where they've trained the seals to, like, squish their neck in, or squish their head back into their into their body, and <laughs> their neck just completely disappears. It's the funniest thing. So yeah, if you need a little pick-me-up in, in terms of your mood, then I would recommend watching the Aquarium Seals on YouTube. The, there's, like, not enough contrast on this picture. I can't see what's going on with her shirt. Forgot to even sketch her uh, pauldron there. Uh, what? 
Why does it look like the bow is has a funky shape to it? Was I designing it to look like a fish? Or is that her jacket? That might just be her jacket. She doesn't have a special bow, right? Hope not. Not to be confused with fail not. I think I did want to give her gloves just because they're like the the short gloves are pretty distinctive. Don't ask me how a seal can use a bow underwater. I don't know. I know that the physics don't check out on that. It's intimidation, right? Like. We'll go with that, sure. Since Shamir is afraid of like spiders or centipedes, I guess is her worst enemy. Um, would Swimir be afraid of like lobsters? Oh, this, her belt buckle already looks like a fish. Okay. Honestly, it looks like a sharp-tailed sunfish, but... I don't want people thinking I'm biased. Okay, what is... Oh, I guess that's her, like, supposed to be her knee pad. Knee, it, you, you, I don't think you call it a knee pad. That's what you wear when you go roller skating. <laughs> or play volleyball. Oh my gosh. There's an ant on my paper. Really? It's investigating. Do you guys see that? It's right there. It's like crawling along flame right now. Huh. Okay. I'll try not to get too distracted by that. Live and let live, you know. I'm, it doesn't bother me. If it was a centipede, that'd be a different story. And I think it would be, um, you know, like... Um, on brand uh, with Shamir to um, deal with it.
Hmm. Oh, okay. I kind of see where I was going with that. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I'm following here. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to gauge where and what all these lines are. Also, don't ask how this bowstring works. It's, shh, it's fine. She definitely doesn't have as much of a, like, cape sash, I guess, going on as I thought. All right. I think that will do it. Yeah, looks good. Uh, I guess I should have made these like sand dollars or something. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> All right, at least time. Halloween. This is officially too many markers. <laughs> this is ridiculous. These markers need to stop. Okay, little ant, you're you're in a bad spot. Okay, yeah, keep keep walking. That's the second time I've seen an ant today, and I'm really hoping it's the same ant. Just hi, I'm lost. I'm I'm away from the colony. Just checking everything out. No sugar crumbs or anything here to be found. This this place is a bust. We should go someplace else. Outside. Yeah, ant friend, there's like an entire compost pile outside that you can dig into. That's just people food that I'm throwing outside. Surely that would be of interest to your people.
Okay, I wasn't sure about his pose before, but I think it's fine. It's cute. He might be a little bit too, like, slanted, I guess. I don't know. He should be, like, thicker, too, I feel like. I don't know that Catherine should be bigger than him. A little bit more realistic, but not like boring, I guess, or, or joyless. Um, or samey even, like there's still some character to it. Like th this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so we're not in total realism area yet. Uh, he's got complicated armor, though. I appreciate it, but I don't super like drawing it. Yeah, sorry I went back to sketching. Uh, trying to make sure that I don't get lost when I do the ink on um, Mr. Wrangell. Is that his last name? Okay, so I definitely want like a big conch shell. Maybe this is where I'll do the... No, I didn't. I'm thinking of for... Um... For Lawrence, his yeah, I mean, I guess this is what I'm going for. Oh, this would be the perfect time. I used to make a joke about um, having a troubled conscience. Conscience. <laughs> I'll see myself out. No, I won't. I'm just, uh, you know, getting into character here. Meth it's method drawing. If it comes through, that that's a shell. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. It's a, it was a pretty good bad pun, I thought.
Okay, enough sketching. I'm cutting myself off. Okay, mouse, you're in the way. Get out of here. like not thorough but like uh, pretty solid redesign because like yeah I, mean, I don't know he just, he just looks so old So you don't have to leave room for his ears. Although that makes it look a little bit more like a mullet. <laughs> See if I can't retool his expression a tiny, tiny bit. Hopefully, I'm not smudging it. Yeah, that's all right. I made the decision to go for dot eyes on these seals and it like it looks good, but it leads to some inconsistencies. I can't make them quite as expressive as I'd like. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust it so you can see okay. Somewhat of an irony, I think I brought this up before, in that he has a walrus mustache, kind of. Just 
cracking himself up. And go back to the thicker brush. I say brush like this is digital. <laughs> Hmm. Mm, is that too much? Probably gonna kind of simplify it. I'm getting like whiplash looking back and forth at the reference. Even after having sketched it out, it's just so many little lines and intricacies on that armor. Okay, and like Catherine, I have to remember that he's got the um Like his cape, and then I uh, just completely botched that. Um, Oh, what's, this is cool. I don't know that I've heard this before. It's like a... Oh, what's it called? Uh, like Legends of the... Her. It's like Aethos' Battle Boss Medley, maybe? Oh, I like this. This is from Radiant Dawn. I like this one. I forget what it's called, but I recognize it.
What am I looking at? <laughs> Did not leave enough room there. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not going to be too fussy about that either. And then there was just me. That's okay. I don't blame people for leaving. It's getting late. Banger, though. I, I'm surprised that people left during or didn't stay to listen to the rest of it. I don't even know if they can hear it. Uh, don't ask how that armor's bending. <laughs> Nobody's done a proper banana pose in this group yet. Oh man, he's so complicated. Realize this cape's kind of short, so I'm not gonna have it draped on the ground there. Hello. Looks like we got a couple new viewers, old viewers, returning viewers. We have three people, two, well, two other people, including me. Wait, no. Two, two viewers, one draw, drawer. Well, yeah, see, now I'm just driving people away. <laughs> Here. Um, tell your friends, I'm going to preview the next page to, so if people want to see that i gotta um i would like to color these and then you know finish everybody else um 
but I will be sharing what's coming up next with anybody who is here to see it. I know it is getting quite late though. I hope he's dry. I guess that was <laughs> the little. All right. Well, um, while I'm waiting on Alwise's ink to dry off, um, but it's very, very light. Um, and actually, there isn't a whole lot going on on this page. Um, <laughs> the sketches are so light and. Uh, there isn't a whole lot to see, but um, we do see that Hannah has a monocle in place, and um, as Manuela, of course, Rhea is a little closer to being finished, or I mean, not finished, but like recognizable. Um, and then this is going to be Cyril. Um, I wasn't originally. I didn't actually. Oops. Oh. Uh, I didn't mess the webcam up too much. Bumped into it. Um, I was going to say I didn't originally have um, Gilbert as part of the lineup. Um, I don't know. I, I think it it's an overstatement to say that nobody likes him, right? Like, but I don't know. I just... I never see him brought up hardly. I did. I, I saw a fan art of him the other day, actually. Um, and it was the first like fan art. I think I'd ever seen specifically for Gilbert, not just like including him in the group because he's there. Um, but I don't know. I don't know a lot about him also. Um, so I couldn't recruit him on my, um, route so I guess that's the other thing is like I, I feel like it's a little weird that he's associated so close like he's part of the church group but is he's only available on blue lions right so I don't know I just I he seems like he would should should be more closely associated with them But I guess I'm also thinking in groups of eight. So, ooh, yikes. Mm. We'll just pretend that's an extra whisker, I guess. Jeez. Uh, I've been thinking in groups of eight, so that's also been part of it. And, like, it, do, it you can't really break the church group into eight cleanly um, any way you slice it. Uh, you have to leave somebody out, so... Or a couple people out. Yeah, that's kind of the impression I've gotten. Um, and like, I get it. You know, I I don't. You know, I I don't really. It, it doesn't, that doesn't endear me to him, but, um, or endear him to me. I never get that right. Um, but like, I don't hold it against him either. I just, I don't, I, I think it's part of it is like, I, I haven't gotten to know him, but like, unlike the other characters who I haven't been able to recruit, I like, nobody talks about him. So, um, you know, I feel like I've gotten to know, um, Dimitri and, uh, Hubert and happy birthday, Hubert, by the way, um, is, you know, the other characters who I haven't encountered really. Um, but, 
like people do fan work of them and talk about them and so i don't know it's just they have more of a presence i guess um but my thinking was like nobody will miss gilbert if i don't draw him um but i don't know so i hey, let me count let do do a count real quick i think i'm already over eight because there's five here and then so we're already at nine so we might as well just do ten I'm planning on doing a fifth group um, that will include um, Bash and Wolves um, and um, a few other characters, Byleth. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like, as much of a completionist as I am, I... I just oh so this that's yeah she is on the list as well um I was gonna do I don't I think it came out to more than eight because it's like um, pre and post skip um and uh Geralt um and C tree and um, Yuritsa and t -t -t Anna, maybe? I don't, eh, I don't, I feel like it would be a little um, egregious to do Anna and not Gilbert. Um, I don't even like Anna that much, so. But on the other hand, like, It'd be fun, you know. I'll give her that. Um, trying to sorry, I'm just trying to find the color I need here. Okay. Oh, that's kind of perfect. I love you when you find the color that's like the exact shade you need. <laughs> that's yeah that's a fair idea i feel like i forgot somebody in just in like listing people just now um oh i did forget somebody how many npcs can i promote ahead of um that one playable character <laughs> And that's just the other thing, I guess, is, like, I <laughs> to become playable in this game. Just, like, continue the Gilbert conversation. Um, perhaps ad nauseum uh but the, i did like the um i don't want to like say too much about it because it's very spoilery but um he gets a mention in golden deer route from a relevant character to him and like the point that this person discusses relevant to Gilbert is like, it, it, I mean, it, it's poignant in just in and of itself, but like, especially um, the context of the character who delivers that information is interesting, I think. Um, so. It's my, um, Vague hot take for the evening. Uh, okay.
Okay, time to dig through all my purples. BV04, that's for sure it. That's it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh. I have so many markers on my dogs. B13? No. Uh, like this particular moment. Oh, I was holding it the whole time. I'm an idiot. Um, like, the, yeah, this particular moment isn't, it didn't make me, um, I, I think it, it endeared me to him, endeared him to me more, I guess, than, um, whoops. Sorry, was my coloring Shamir off the camera for the entire time? I am seriously the worst at this. Oh, come on. Camera, please. There we go. Okay. Um... Um, I did see in the process of gathering reference images that uh, I guess it, it, there was a screen cap and it was in Japanese, so I couldn't tell one way or the other. But it looks like Gilbert and Seth have a support, so I'm very curious to see what that gets into. Shamir gets very shiny hair today. I guess everybody kind of got shiny hair. I really like doing hair highlights. I feel like they don't, when I do this, when I do them digitally, they don't come out right for some reason, but uh, I can get them to look good in traditional. There's sort of a purple tint. I guess I can go over that after. Um, yeah, on the topic of supports, I have seen a lot of supports. I've, um, I'm way too, way, 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 way too completionist about my one playthrough of this game. So I've been like doing, you know, just grinding, um, auxiliary missions and, uh, getting support ranks up and like, keeping track of it and trying to bring people together to, uh, into battle who are support partners. Um, and, uh, you know, using rallies effectively and stuff. 
Um, and I know that I'm just gonna have opportunities to unlock all of these in other routes, but I'm doing it anyway because I'm incorrigible. I might have to use special black because like it's really hard to tell from the angle this monitor is at what like I think the, the her necklace and the Definitely over here, this thing is darker, so. Uh, hmm. The black just seems too dark. Um, what about this? Oh yeah, that would have been good for, okay. This is what we'll do. Ooh, Jazzy lost in thoughts all alone. I mean, I feel like you're going to be biased towards your first route no matter what. Um, or to, by, towards your first class, I guess. Um, and, I don't know, that's kind of... I, I feel like we should embrace that more and, like, it's okay. I People are, I think, a little too intent on avoiding uh, partiality um, especially in like fandom discussions like um, you know it, it's this worshipping at the altar of objectivity um, and we're, we're not going to be objective with these things or with anything pretty much like it's fine <laughs> you know It's like people don't want to admit that they have emotional attachments to things and they don't want to admit that they are biased towards or against certain things. And I feel like if we did that more often, then we could get have more productive discussions. But then people won't get to feel like they're right on the Internet. So I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. one of the straps I think a little I'm not typically a fan of characters who are wait now it's saying zero viewers whoa was I not a viewer the entire time that's kind of blowing my mind 
Um, well, anyway, I'll keep talking. Um, yeah, I... Um, I'm not typically a fan of characters who are like just talk about training a lot. Um, and again, it's not a, oh, well, objectively, they're not well-written characters um, kind of thing. Because I will... Oh, yeah, no worries. Um Yeah, it's, I mean, I've said that before, um, to, to totally drop what I was just saying, uh, about Shamir, I'll get back to that, I guess, but, um, the, I, you know, I think people, um, and I've said, I think I said this on a Reddit thread, like, people have, personal attachments to the characters for legitimate reasons. And like, that's a testament to the writing that's, you know, they were able to um, hit on a lot of like strike a lot of chords with different people. And I think like, depending on the character that strikes a chord with you, you know, you're going to react differently to other characters who have conflict with that character. Um, and, you know, I think people who maybe are a little bit more impartial are maybe don't have that, I guess, um, sorry, I'm just trying to switch to a better song. Are we not? Did I pause it? Okay, that's fine. Um, sorry, you're going to have to deal with my extreme distractibility. But, uh, you should probably know that by now. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, I, like I... I don't find I like despise any of the characters or anything, um, you know, in the way that I think a lot of people do out of probably very personal reasons a lot of the time. And like, I'm, I think it's just cause I, I'm fortunate enough not to have the sort of sensitivities, I guess that would um, make you uh, react badly to um particular characters or particular traits. And it's not to say that I, you know, are, and I'm not, uh, more, um, empathetic or, or feel like I can identify more with certain characters over others. Obviously there are some characters I find very identifiable and um, others not so much, but um, that's the case for everybody. But I think like there's just like certain issues that get touched on. I mean, you know, anytime you're dealing with issues of trauma and abuse like that's gonna really strike a chord with some people and so um i i just wish that that entered into the i i wish it entered into the discussion not in like a um manipulative kind of way like uh you can't disagree with me because if you do then you're condoning abuse or whatever like that's kind of BS honestly like it's um you know and I, and again I'm not saying that emotional reactions to characters is BS but I'm saying like using that 
to to like tell other people that they're bad because of the characters that they like like they're not i don't think anybody is um Like, I don't know, just to use a sort of a more a petty example, Ingrid, because she doesn't like people from Dusk. Um... Uh. Okay, that was a little bit slow. I was starting to talk about intense character discussion and discourse. I was really, really getting into that discourse. Sorry, um, just had to respond to something in the chat real quick. Uh, forget which colors I used. Okay, so cool gray zero for the, like to go over all the armor. I could probably just like, <laughs> there's not very much of him that isn't covered in this white armor. Still smudging a little bit. That's weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is it worth it to continue? I guess I could. I could keep um, commentating on the state of three houses character discussion. I guess. Um, yeah, I just m more understanding, like more. Or, or attempts at understanding, at least. Um, and I get that it's hard when you feel like you're saying the same thing over and over again to the same people, but, like, that's kind of a consequence of just being on social media all the time. And, you know, you feel like you're having the... Because you're talking to different people, really, Um you're going to feel like you're saying the same thing ad nauseum to the same people, but you're talking to different people. So it's, it's like a, um, what do you call that? Like a, not a logical fallacy, but a, Um, there's a name, there's a word for that type of thing where you, like the way that you perceive something is not accurate to reality. To reality. I'm, um... I'm very interested in psychology and like um, just motivation, behavior, that kind of thing. Um, like digging into why people do and say what they do. Um, so that's sort of my approach to um,
especially in his most sensitive, like, your femoral arteries are exposed there, dude. I mean, not if you're a seal, I'm pretty sure, but still. Light walnut, yep. Probably we'll go back definitely to cap and throw in some darker shades into their hair. Oh, he makes such a good seal. I don't have, I should probably be using a reference of him from the game. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it just is that color. And I've gotten a little carried away on the armor shading there. I'm gonna throw in some of those cool highlights she's got in her hair. Best way to do that, I think, would be to pick a. Like a rusty color but nothing too dark Maybe this one a little redder than that let's see 15 yeah like that It's almost like she's got frosted tips, uh, kind of. But that's, you can see that red in the, like, undertones of her hair as well, so. 
like underneath her bangs. Um, I wonder if they're if it's supposed to be like like give the impression that she's um, it's sun bleached because she's pretty tan too. Either way, it's a cool effect. And while that ink is still a little bit wet, I'm going to kind of blend it in. The ink is still a little bit wet. I'm going to blending like that, especially if it's more than a few degrees away in terms of hue. I think it turned out good. All right, so I guess I'll do the same thing with setup for his hair. That's, but I don't know that that's necessarily accurate either. Let's see. Uh, the OA I have isn't very high quality. Um, I would almost go like blue or more teal, maybe. kind of nice like a piney color almost Again, I don't want to get too carried away with this, but... Yeah, that one's a nice depth to it, too. I always, I think I always make the mistake of making his hair a little too shiny, though. Um.
I just said I wasn't going to get carried away. I love shading hair with these markers, though. It's so much fun. Okay. I need to stop. Just one more stroke. No, no, no. I'm done. I'm done. It's the only time I get to shade with these markers and they're like, they're made for shading. They're so good for shading. Okay, I'm just gonna do just a, couple, just a little bit more. Shh, it's fine. No, I'm done. Okay. Okay, for reals, I'm done. I'm done. No more. I don't even know that it looks that good. <laughs> it, it looks okay uh, from my perspective. I like this one. BB seventeen, that would work. Uh, I think I returned a lot of the purples. too light. I don't know what I expected from something called light hydrangea, but it's actually going to be lighter than the surrounding colors, you know. kind of more of a gold shade to his hair um so where's e35 that would work i think The color I'm looking for is underneath all of these markers. This has gotten way out of hand. Oh, wait, found it. 
token. Oh, it's too light, man. All that work. <laughs> 35, I guess I could do. Well, or just like... Mm. Mm, do this right. There we go, that's perfect. This isn't on the chart, so it's maybe a little redder too than I was necessarily looking for, but that's okay. Yeah, it's probably way too red, but... Oh, no, it was off-screen, too. Sorry. Eh, it wasn't that important. Um, or noticeable. There we go. I feel like brown hair just naturally has a lot of different shades to it. Uh, so... Or a lot of the time it does, anyway. Okay, we're done. We're calling it for that. Um, so now I just have to figure out how to call it, everybody. Um, review. There's definitely less variation um, in, like, in, like, as I went on. So. Younger looking S seal pup colors, like younger looking Cyril, too. Um, although I didn't do that for <laughs> the character actually named Cass Pup, he doesn't have the little spots. He is gray, though. Hmm. Like, I want to finish these, and uh, I don't know, I just have it done. I, it's, uh, oh, there's a couple of people tuned in. Hi, welcome to, um, I'm, like, this close to being done, and I'm still deliberating over what to color everybody. Uh, mm -mm. Hmm. It's a little bit more. Oh, that's kind of nice. Maybe. It's terrible. I feel like this right here is just like seal 
101 color like you look at that and it's like yep that's a seal all right but i'm not gonna necessarily stay at this color but it's kind of a good baseline Sorry, he's in the corner of the page. It's a little easy to crop him accidentally. Okay, so from there... Like, I can kind of determine whether to go warmer or cooler, or darker or lighter with it. I feel like almost a gold might suit him a little better. Um, so... Like that. Now it's a little too yellow. Um. Yeah, I like that because the gold in his um, you know, his costume, his outfit isn't that saturated. So, also, who's going to get the spots? Who's going to get the freckles? If anybody. Yeah, it turned out okay, I think. Hello to my viewers, if I haven't said hello to you in particular yet. Um, we're kind of on the home stretch here. I know I said that like an hour ago, <laughs> but for reals this time. Um, and uh, yeah, just kind of this is this is a bit of a process, like getting the like the skin colors of the seals, because um, I'm really bad at color palettes and like what colors go together. Um, there are enough times when I go out of the house wearing something that really was ill-advised because I was the only one advising myself. Okay, I think Flane's got like the most going on color-wise, so I think probably my instinct for going like just a light cool gray might work for her. Um, as long as I can find it, where'd it go? I think cool gray one is a big marker. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. That like doesn't even show up. Or wait. Sorry. Mm, we'll go with 
with that. I'll try that. Yeah, that works. Oh yeah, that's like baby, baby seal. <laughs> like herp seal. I kind of want to give her spots too, too. But that's okay. I would have had such an easier time if I just like made everybody just like a variation on whatever their hair color was. Like that would have been the smart thing to do, but I, that ship has sailed. That looks good. I guess I could just make set of the same color then. Maybe a little darker. I don't know. <laughs> Did that... Was that still wet? What? Finished him like ages ago. Yeah, this... I, I, I'm not going to stick with this color for him. That's... That's the thing. Like, I never know until I kind of lay it down and see how it compares. This is also picking up all the green and blue, like. Sorry, this is the part where I have to, like, dig through every one of my markers. Um... little warmer I'm thinking Have a warm gray one. 
Oh, yeah, I know the shade that I want to look for. Is that going to be too... I don't know, that might be perfect. Yeah, just want a little bit warmer. This is basically like the... Um, pen and paper equivalent of um, doing like um, color adjustments, like hue saturation adjustments and a digital medium. Okay. This is awesome. I don't think I've heard this arrangement yet. Okay, I like that. It's a little, I like how, that it's kind of a statuesque color. Um, that, that's nice. I'm gonna just emphasize a little bit more. It dry, it, all these dry lighter than they go on, which. Ooh, it's a recruitment medley. That's cool. All right. Okay. Yeah, that is a little bit close to her hair. Hello to the folks who are still here. Thanks for sticking with it. I'm, I'm starting to see the value of these uh, 
purple tones. I like these. Yeah, it it I think on camera this doesn't look like it's making any difference, but maybe you get it. Um finally schmear schmear. Yeah, I guess just like the cool gray we could go for. Oh yeah, I like that already. Oh, I hope it stays good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that color palette looks really nice. Or it looks nice with the color palette. Um, I meant to go back and color in her. Like, the armor was supposed to... I was supposed to go over that with another shade... I decided on spots, freckles. I don't know. Now I'm, I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> blend them a little bit more. Continuing adjustments. <laughs> Like, I know this looks like it's not changing anything, but it, over time, has an effect. Oh. Well, it might not have looked like it was doing anything at all. Please. Okay.
not a nice texture for um <laughs> like human skin uh usually but kind of yeah it's it just gives like a mottled effect but it's nice for seals so close like I think one more pass on Alois and I'll be good for it Maybe they do. In fact, I'm gonna overlay that in a little bit of a green, just to kind of further distinguish it. Very. Church of Cerrosy green too. Kind of a nice uh, undertone for the fabric. It should almost make just just an effect of it being in the ocean. I don't know. This is an effect of me being up for too long. That's for darn sure. Are we shenearing the end of the stream? Um, it if I I I hope so. <laughs> For your sake, I'm sorry. I mean, like I'm getting a little tired, but it, mostly I just feel bad. It, yeah, that, that's probably a sign that we need to stop. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, what do you think? Do, do these look good? I've been relying only on my own probably, um, uh, misguided instincts on how to do this. So, uh, do they, do you guys think they look good? You can say no, that's fine. <laughs> My feelings will not be hurt, I promise. Well, I probably shouldn't promise anything. I think that's going to do it for today. Um, so I don't know if we can get them all in the frame. 
uh, bottom two are a little bit delightful. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. They're, they're good. Um, so, and I, they started off a little bit rocky, but I'm, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know what else to say. They, they came through, I guess. So, um, thank you for everybody who tuned in. Wow. This was long. Um, next time we will be, um, if I stream, I might not stream it. I think there's maybe this coming weekend, especially for a few reasons, there's just going to be a lot of conflict, um, with it. So, sorry, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in, um, if, I mean, I'm going to be recording it anyway because I need to do the time lapse, so I may as well just go live. Um, but I'm trying to get better about avoiding the, um, you know, wait time, having too much of that or too much time where I'm deliberating over stuff. Um, that's not great. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's not fun to sit through and I, uh, but I also don't know how people are necessarily engaging with this. I don't know if you're um, doing other stuff or, you know, listening to, I, I'm, I'm not really sure whether to be talking a lot or not talking a lot. Cause I, you know, I don't know if uh, this is something people are maybe just have on in the background. So let me know any feedback. It really helps me a lot to determine how to conduct these. So, um, it, it really is helpful and, uh, I appreciate any feedback or any suggestions, um, that you may have, whether I end up going with them or not. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will go ahead and wrap things up here. So, um, thank you so much to everybody who tuned in. Um, Pat, anyway, I will go ahead and wrap things up here. So, um, thank you so much to everybody who tuned in, um, past, present, future, doing it, and that it's, uh, at, at this point now, helping people um, get through whatever they're going through, hopefully. So, um, yeah, it's 1 a.m., and, pro I mean, I don't know, probably the people who are tuning in now, it's, like, a reasonable time in their time zone, but um, I need to go to bed. So I'm going to sign off here. Thank you again. Um, please make me stop talking. Bye.